students can work in production companies, and they do. They work at broadcasters, Channel 7, Channel 9. We've got graduates at Triple J, at the ABC. We've got graduates also working in less traditional media places, but huge growth areas in, so for example, corporate media and educational media. After five years or so after they graduated, when we wrote to them and said, so what did you get out of your degree? One of the main things they said is networks. So they, they said, look, I learnt stuff, I learnt skills, you know, my, my world is wider, I understand everyday life better. But also I've got a group of people that I met who are great, creative, reliable, and they're the people I turn to when I'm developing my portfolio in the practical media arena or I'm, you know, trying to put together a team to make something or I'm working and I'm looking for people to work with me. Some of the people coming out graduating from the performing arts industries major, which is the major I teach into, will go on to professional careers in, uh, in the creative arts, in performance, but other people might be on the other side of the process, uh, curating work, directing, um, creating content. Look, I think a broad section of industries are looking for people who basically have got a sense of how to work in, an, uh, uh, how to work in a workplace uh, being ethically grounded and being open to differences, but also being curious. So being curious means that you're open to generating new ideas, tackling new ideas, running with someone else's new idea because it's exciting and you can see the possibilities that it deploys. Of course, in the media industries, in civil service, in, in government offices, um, across the broad spectrum, people are looking for you know, people who are attentive, reflective, have got a sense of ethical engagement with work colleagues. What I'm aiming to do is to help people become independent creative practitioners. Now they may work for other people and they may work within traditional industry models, but it's not their only horizon. They're able to be autonomous workers and autonomous creative people in their own right and they're able to make that viable in some way. And if I look back upon all of the graduates that I've had over the time that I've been doing this, um, I, I'm pretty happy to say that those students that were really committed and produced excellent work um, have all done extremely well in the industry since. You know, the music industries are very broad. Uh, you will find that there are a great many opportunities that can be pursued for employment that are not just the artist on the stage. If, if you've ever kind of gone looking for a, a podcast on your most obscure favourite topic, you'll probably find one. So there's all sorts of um, organisations. You know, people who are putting on triathlons are doing podcasts about how you kind of compete in triathlons. We have an incredibly broad range of organisations now that require media production skills.